the one thing that has manifested my dream life, the one thing that's really catapulted me into a whole new timeline where I am seriously in a totally new reality. And really, if you do this one thing, if you focus on this one piece, you will unlock your next level. You will unlock your highest timeline and be living it now. And here it is. The moment that you stop placing your goal, your desire, your next level in the future and you bring it into now and you be it now and you live it now and you accept it as your choice now, you accept it as your reality now, you accept yourself as that person now, you collapse time and space and you actually step into and start walking through a totally drastically different and new timeline. So really, the moment that you stop putting it over there, over there is something I got to get to and you bring it into now and you're willing to bring it into now. You decide to be it now, to live it now, to express yourself as that person now. That is the only time that everything changes for you. Are you willing to choose it now? That is the only thing that in a sense, uh, you hold yourself back from living everything that you want right now. It's in your hands, it's in your choice. And it's in this willingness to be that character to step into and fulfill the role of the person you say you want to be in the life you say you want to have. And it has nothing to do with your past. The past is not connected to now. And it has nothing to do with your current circumstances or who you think you currently are. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. Because what we're doing, when we're shifting timelines to the timeline of our choice, right? In a sense, what we're doing is bringing that future potential into now. So if we're bringing a future potential, another totally different parallel reality possibility into now, what has that got to do with the past, even five seconds ago? Nothing, right? When you take into consideration, even when you're trying to, you know, manifest something amazing or all this money, this abundance, this incredible lifestyle, and your focus, you're creating it based on things to do with the past or the current situation, you're not creating from the future. You're not really stepping into that. You're kind of just bringing the past things, the current circumstances, and you're limiting yourself. You're bringing that into your creative process and you don't need to do that. So for me, the key to unlocking my next level, the key to what really unlocked my dream life that I am living more and more every day. Like it seriously feels like a vacation every day. It seriously feels like uh, I'm living in a dream. Like every day is so dreamlike and I seem to just attract more and more of the things I desire and want effortlessly. Unlocking that was actually deciding and realizing that I have to be that now. I have to step into it now. I remember in terms of um, my business and income and money, especially, but all areas of my life as well. I remember years ago, I had a vision of, you know, what my business and my ultimate life and lifestyle and uh, yeah, my business would look like, the money I'm receiving, the people I'm working with, the work I'm doing, all of that, I received that. I knew. I knew what that kind of was. Still like a bit vaguely, but I knew and it was different to what I was doing back then. But the thing that I didn't understand back then was you have to do it now and step into it now and own it now. You got to choose to be that person now and accept yourself as that person now. Whereas Prior, I was kind of like, okay, that's where I'm going, right? That's where I'm going and right, I'm not there yet. So I got to figure out how to get there. And that is the one little distinction that with whatever your goal is, if you will stop placing it over there and you will start acknowledging, actually, I received the desire 
I received the goal. I received the vision. I got the idea because I need to choose it now because there's already a version of me who is living it now and is calling me forward into it now. But it's not gonna happen later, there is no later, right? You gotta be her now. You gotta be that powerful, um, abundant, unapologetic, authentic, fully expressed woman now. You have to live it now. You have to step into it now. It cannot be this thing that you're saying, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to be that later. I'm going to have that later. Okay, yes, I received that idea and that desire, but I'm not there. Like this, like I have to figure out how to get there. No, no. You received the idea because there's a version of you who's already living it. You already contain it. And your only job is to accept it as your reality now, is to choose it now, is to step into the character, the role of that personality now, which you do not need any prerequisites to do that successfully and to do it instantaneously right now. And what I found is by actually acknowledging I have a desire or I've received a vision, the thing is not to sit there and say, well, that's some way that's going to happen later, or I've got to make my way there, or I've got to figure out how to get there, or one day I will have that, or, oh my gosh, I have this desire, and now what do I do to make it come about? Um, it's actually acknowledging I received that because I am that. And in the moment that I choose to acknowledge I am that and step into that energy, that's when I see it in a reflection in my physical uh, experience. So are you willing to step into it fully now? It is your choice. There's literally nothing holding you back. You can watch a million videos and read a million books on all the blocks and all the things that are holding you back and you can buy into those ideas and you can create illusions and experiences of that. But that's one path, it's one choice, it's one experience, it's one illusion. In this world of infinite illusions, the only thing that ever holds you back is you. And not because of all these things that you got to figure out and fix, it is your choice. And it is really specifically your willingness to step into the character now, to step into the role now and fulfill it, to step into the feeling of what you want now, to step into literally the reality that's calling you forward because it is you, because you have it, because you already are it, literally. You already contain it, literally. You're already there, literally. This is not just like a kind of fanciful way of saying it. It's true, but you have to accept it. You have to acknowledge it as truth. And it is your willingness to step into that and your willingness to let go of being in the role of the older, an older outdated version of you that you no longer prefer to be. When you make those choices, when you make the choice to no longer be that person and you make the choice to be this person, everything changes, everything shifts immediately. And a lot of people will make a decision about who they now are or make a new assumption about their life but not realizing that they do that and then they immediately go back to, okay, but now I need to find a way to get there. Then you haven't actually decided. You haven't stepped into it. You are not assuming yourself to be that person. You are not claiming that reality or that version of yourself. You're still placing a time lag creating, there's no time lag by the way, but you create your experience of a time lag. You place a gap there and you say, there's a journey. I've got to go from here to here. No, that is not how we actually manifest anything ever. You can create the illusion that that's happening, but it never happens. The only way you close the gap is by bringing this point that you want to get to into now. That is the only time people do that unknowingly, unconsciously, not on purpose. Right? A lot of the time, most of the time, but that is always what is happening because there is no such thing as time, no such thing as distance or separation. There are no time lags. So the time lag that you experience is the one you create 
and it is the one that you place between where you are and where you want to be. But if you bring where you want to be and who you want to be into the now and you live it now, you feel it now, you be it now. Everything changes. Everything changes. And that is the key piece that I want to give you today that has completely changed my life, has completely more than doubled my income in a very short amount of time um, and changed every area of my life to the point where every freaking day I'm saying, oh my God, what is happening? This is so different. This is so magical. What is this? Like, this is not real. And you can have that too, especially with... Uh, abundance and money and income, the moment that I decided to step into and actually be the wealthy version of myself, and not just the wealthy version of myself, but the, the abundant version of myself who has freedom and time. I can travel. I'm in my feminine energy, so I'm allowing the money to come to me without hustling or trying to make it manifest and trying to make it happen. And I can grow in my income Effortlessly, I can just keep jumping, jumping. It's just like a little sidestep. This is really the key. I decided to step into and fully live to whatever extent that I can right now, I fully live consistently as that version of me does. And I'm unwilling to be the old version of me. So there isn't more to do. There isn't more to become. You can get caught in that cycle for years, for decades of I'm becoming this, I'm getting there. There isn't more to do. You gotta step into the reality now. When was the last time that you actually said, hang on, I know that version of me feels free. Mm, okay, if that version of me feels free, has a lot of freedom and they feel free to spend on what they want, they feel free to travel when they want, to spend time with their loved ones, free to express themselves creatively and in all the ways that they desire to, and to have that kind of abundance and really freedom in all areas of life. Oh, okay, well that means that I'm gonna feel free now because if I've accepted myself as that person, you better believe that I'm gonna start feeling free now. I'm gonna start being the essence of what I want now. And you know that you're tuned into it when you just start feeling more of that way, being more of that person. You can just feel the connection between you and all of these desires and uh, potentials and outcomes. And then you just see it in a really short amount of time when you're consistent. Um, and you really just know that this is who you now are, and you start to see it manifesting. You just simply need to bring the future stuff into the now, and it's really like your willingness and your choice to do that is everything and is really all you need to know. All right, that is it for this video. I have more offers and content around this coming soon. Um, if you would like to work together, that information is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Let me know any breakthroughs or comments in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you're new here. Have a magical, magical day, and I'll see you next time.